Did you know that the majority of sinus infections are actually caused by a virus? Hi, I'm Dr. Scranton from Pediatrics Northwest. In partnership with the Tacoma Pierce County Health Department, I'm here today to tell you more about sinus infections or sinusitis. The key piece of information I would like you to remember from this video today is that the majority of sinus infections will get better on their own and do not need treatment with antibiotics. So what are sinus infections? Sinus infections occur when fluid gets trapped in the sinuses. This allows germs to grow, causing inflammation and making it hard to breathe through your nose. In children, up to 70% of sinus infections are caused by a virus. There are also other conditions that can mimic a sinus infection, such as allergies, pollutants in the air, and fungal infections. So how do you know if your child has a sinus infection? The common symptoms of a sinus infection include headache, stuffy or runny nose, loss of the sense of smell, facial pain or pressure, postnasal drip or mucus that drips down the throat from the nose, sore throat, fever, coughing, fatigue or being tired, or bad breath. We recommend that you see your healthcare provider if your child has any of the following symptoms. A fever of 100.4 or higher, their symptoms are worsening or have been lasting longer than 10 days, their symptoms are not relieved by over-the-counter medications, or your child has had more than four sinus infections in one year. And remember, if your child is less than three months of age and has a fever, please contact your healthcare provider right away. So how are sinus infections diagnosed? Your healthcare provider will determine if your child has a sinus infection by asking about symptoms and doing a physical exam. Antibiotics may be needed if the sinus infection is caused by a bacteria, but remember most sinus infections are caused by a virus. Never pressure your healthcare provider for antibiotics. Remember, in some cases, antibiotics can even cause harm. When you use antibiotics appropriately, you do the best for your health, your family's health, and the health of those around you. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Scranton from Pediatrics Northwest.